All right, let's have a serious talk about Colorado. Obviously, there's just been a ton of eyes and a ton of expectation around Colorado since Coach Prime arrived. And even though the Buffaloes got off to a hot start in 2023, winning their first three games with that massive season opening win versus TCU, the Buffaloes would then only win one of their next nine regular season games and would miss out on a bowl game entirely. And while everybody thought that Coach Prime was going to be this high school recruiting savant, Things didn't really pan out that way this year. The Buffaloes currently have the 102nd best high school recruiting class in the country. And while they landed big name players like four-star athlete Cameron McKell, four-star wide receiver Draylon Miller, and five-star recruit and the number one offensive tackle in the country, Jordan Seaton, they only signed six players in total. For comparison's sake, Alabama signed 23 players in 2024, almost four times the amount. And now that Charles Kelly is leaving Colorado to join Auburn, there are a lot of questions of what Colorado could seriously look like in 2024. I'm gonna be frank with y'all. The Buffaloes are in a weird position because it's almost a damned if I do, damned if I don't position where they won four times the amount of games that they did last year, clear improvements across the board, but it was like everyone thought that Coach Prime was gonna take them to the college football playoffs, but then if they do live up to that, everyone's just gonna say it was lucky. Well, I think when you take an objective look at what the Buffaloes did in 2023, you'll start to see a different picture than what their four and eight record painted. First off, in 2023, half of the Buffaloes opponents were ranked. And in four of those games versus ranked opponents, the Buffaloes only lost by one possession. As a matter of fact, six of the Buffaloes eight losses were by one possession or less. Now, obviously this next part's gonna be a big stretch, but if you're only losing by one possession or less in half of your losses and more than half of your losses, that means that Colorado could have theoretically went 10 and two this season. 10 and two. That would have been a 10 and two season where they beat TCU, USC, Arizona, Utah, and they would have also beaten Oregon State. That would have very easily had the Buffaloes as a top 10 team in the country. Now, do I think that Colorado was actually a top 10 team in the country? No but theoretically they could have been. On top of that, with the Buffaloes going to the Big 12, they're going to be in a much more favorable conference for their style of play. And the opponents are just gonna be easier overall. I mean, when you seriously look at Colorado's 2024 schedule, they start off the first three games of the season versus North Dakota State, that's a win, Nebraska, that's another one they won this year. And Colorado State, that's another win. They beat them this year as well. In 2023, the Buffaloes lost by three points to Arizona and six to Utah. So obviously those two games could very easily be wins for the Buff for the Buffaloes. Then going, in going over to Baylor, which it's gonna be a home game for them. That could be a very easy another win. Baylor has not been the same team that we've expected them to be. Oklahoma State, obviously that's going to be a loss. They're, they were in the Big 12 championship game. That's, that's gonna be a loss. Kansas State, I'm also going to write that off as a loss. Kansas State is a much improved team from these past couple of seasons that we have seen them at. Cincinnati, that's a win, especially at home. Kansas, that's a toss-up game, especially with that game being at Kansas. It's going to be a little bit tougher, tougher of a pull. Texas Tech and UCF are going to be interesting because those could very easily be wins to win out a season where Colorado is well into the top 15 of the, of the college football rankings. Or though they could be struggling and those two games could end off the season for the Buffaloes on a two game losing streak. In my objective opinion, I have the Buffaloes going eight and four next season with wins versus North Dakota State, Nebraska, Colorado State, Arizona, Baylor, Cincinnati, Texas Tech, and UCF. Their only losses would come at home to Utah, at home to Oklahoma State, at home to Kansas State, and away at Kansas. Now, I don't know if you just picked up what I was saying there, Three-fourths of the games that I have Colorado projected to lose are at home. We all know how big at-home advantage is in college football. Those could very easily be upset games where Colorado goes even higher. For me, anything under a 6-6 six and six season for the Buffaloes next year is going to be a disappointment. I'm, I have the Buffaloes at an 8-4 and four season, especially with all the improvements that they made this offseason. I see the Buffaloes being a much improved team heading into next year. Like, I know I said the Buffaloes only had the 102nd best high school recruiting class, but bringing in the number one offensive lineman in the country in Jordan Seaton is a immediate plug and play candidate. You got guys like Draylon Miller and Cameron McKell who are going to make immediate impacts. Brandon Davis Swain should add a lot of depth to that defensive line. And then Coach Prime also has the 
second best transfer portal cost in the country. He just landed linebacker from Florida State, DJ Lundry. He's also brought in guys like Pitt defensive lineman Samuel Onkalola, Houston offense defensive lineman Chidaze Nwankwu, Alabama defensive lineman Anquin Barnes. He also brought in the four-star transfer prospect Cordell Russell at wide receiver from TCU, defensive lineman from LSU Quincy Wiggins, safety from Liberty Preston Hoge. I mean, the list goes on. Will Shepard from Vanderbilt, Ch uh, Chairman Medier from from Cincinnati. I, like, come on, literally, Colorado cannot miss. They brought in so much talent through the transfer portal. They brought in not a lot, but quality pieces through the high school recruiting portal. Plus, they're bringing back Shador. Shador could very easily win the Heisman next year. So they have all the pieces. You got Shador. Travis Hunter's going to be fully healthy going into next year. Coach Prime is going to have another year for he to get used to big to power five football, the team to mesh together better because you're not having to replace 99% of the team. Overall, I believe that Colorado is going to be a much, much, much improved team going into next year. I have my eight and four. I want you guys to comment down below what are your guys' thoughts on the Buffalo's schedule heading into next season. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you never miss any of the fire videos that we drop on the channel. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.